guys and welcome to RG Handhelds once again uh, today we're checking out the Steam Deck today um, I have been waiting uh, quite a while for this to come in uh, and uh, uh, finally I do have it in front of me as you can see here uh, I won't do an unboxing because now there's so many unboxings out there so uh, I'm sure I don't want to bore you with all the bits and bobs you get in the box uh, I just want to, uh, I have been uh, playing around with this now for a few days since I've had it um, and uh, I have set up a few systems so I just want to go through and tell you what I think of the Steam Deck and um, just show you a few games that I've uh, installed on here. Uh, just a quick lowdown then on the specs. Uh, so this is the Valve Steam Deck as you all know, made by Valve. Uh, with screen we have a 7 inch screen uh, which is a 1280 by 800 LCD uh, CPU is the AMD APU uh, which holds the Zen 2 running at 3.5 gigahertz uh, which gives around about 448 gigaflops uh, which is pretty impressive uh, GPU is the uh, RN, uh, RDNA sorry, 2 uh, uh, two CPUs uh, running at 1.6 gigahertz, uh, which will give you up to 1.6 uh, teraflops uh, FP32. Right, and the RAM we have 16 gig of RAM in here. Uh, that's LPDDR5 RAM, and storage comes in. Uh, this particular model is a 64 gig version. I know it's quite low for storage. I do planning on probably upgrading it later on, but not just yet. Uh, so I have have a one terabyte SD card in here. As you all know, it takes a one uh, uh, micro SD card slot at the bottom. Uh, so storage is uh, internal SSD and an external micro SD uh, slot. Battery comes in at 40, uh, 40 watts uh, battery. Uh, gives you around between two to uh, maybe four, maybe six hours, or depending on your usage uh, and what you actually do with it. So, just a quick overview on the actual device, guys. Um, you can see here this is uh, a, actually in a case, uh, quite a cool case actually. It's got a, a stand in it. I do like this case, and it really does protect the device. Um, and then pop out stand just there which comes very handy uh, up the top you have your volume buttons and your triggers uh, that's the headphone jack uh, your air ports uh, type C these are just dust plugs by the way guys to stop dust getting in there uh, and your power button is right there your shoulder buttons just down there uh, so down the bottom there's your micro SD card slot you can see I'm sure you guys all know your way around the Steam Deck by now because it's been out for a while. I just really wanted to get down to actually showing you some games on the system. Um, so let's go ahead and just pop this back. Um, getting into my Steam library here. Uh, so these are my Steam collection games. As you can see I'm a big Doom fan. Um, so. That's something I play. Uh, I do need to download a few more games, but what I wanted to show you guys is the emulation side of things. Uh, and I've really been enjoying uh, installing some emulators on this system. Uh, so let's gonna kick it off uh, with a few emulators, uh, and I'll be showing you like the more powerful uh, emulators to actually emulate on the system. So you have a collection settings here and you have all the games you've actually installed here so if you scroll down and choose a system to actually emulate um, PlayStation, just seeing what we've got on here uh, and Sega 32 uh, we've got Nintendo 64 and some Switch um, we could play uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go for this and just see how many frames per second and see how fast it actually runs.
uh, of course it's using EMU deck uh, which you can uh, download it's a all-in-one emulation um, kit that you can actually install on the system which is pretty cool As you can see, it's running really nice. Not sure about that green fog though. Yeah, so guys, I think it's pretty impressive to run it at uh, this smoothness. Um, more or less, it's running full speed here. Uh, if you want to exit the emulator, just go ahead and hit that steam button and you exit out quite easily. It'll take a few seconds and then you just head on back. Uh, so that was a quick switch game. Um, let's try some N64 and see what we have on here. Uh, I guess we could play uh, this one here. Of course it's using retro up. My main purpose of the deck was purely for emulation uh, because it possesses so much power uh, it literally can emulate uh, anything maybe up to PS4 even I have yet to uh, try some PS2, PS3 and 4 games but I will get round to it As you can see, the screen looks amazing, super smooth emulation, what do you expect from such a powerful device. It is one of the best devices out there for emulation, I can highly recommend. So that's uh, the uh, N64 emulator. Got into the wrong setting there. And exit game. Come out of that. Out of that. Uh, do you like the old arcade games on here? I really do enjoy playing the old arcade games. Uh, one of my favourites. Uh, uh, well, I have put all my favourite games on here. Um, let's just try and fire something up quickly. So let's go ahead and play one of the Afterburners, Afterburner 2, yeah, so to put your credits in, and then start again. As you can see running beautifully and it looks amazing again. So if you got a Steam Deck and you want to get some emulation going guys, I highly rec recommend EMU Deck. I'll put the uh, link into the description of the video. Uh, and it's very, very easy to install. Loads of guides out there uh, to show you how to actually install it. Uh, Retro Corpse has done a great video on actually getting it all set up. Uh, I did uh, watch his video to get it all going. Uh, hats off to you Retro Corpse, you've done a great job there. Uh, we all know him as Russ, uh, great guy. 
So yep, that is the afterburner guys. Uh, you can see clearly they're working pretty well for main emulation. I just like the way it puts all your artwork, it actually does all the artwork for you, uh, which is amazing I think. Um, so one of my favorite all time games was the old uh, Alien Breed on the Amiga systems. So I just had to put that on uh, and it's off the uh, CD32 system. We go for two, I suppose. I really do like this uh, Steam Deck. Um, I'm really getting into it. I'm just putting my uh, uh, games that I have uh, actually onto this system um, that I own because then I have them all on one device. A lot of you probably know this game uh, and to have it running on a Steam Deck is just amazing. Hours and hours of fun. So that is that. Let's get out of that. Press in the Steam button and exit out of that so that was just showing you some emulation of the uh, steam deck that i'm really getting into i will be doing some more videos of more systems but as you can see there guys uh, this is how it looks uh, so these are all the systems uh, and then if you click once right it will show you the all the games that you've actually gone ahead and installed in really nice artwork uh, I think it's amazing and it actually does all the artwork for you uh, which is impressive and they all reside with your current Steam collection which these are actually PC games uh, so I think it's amazing the way it integrates it all into the actual system uh, you know in one not nice tidy uh, UI uh, I'm still getting into it I will do another video soon guys uh, but I just want to give you a quick insight into what people are doing on their decks and this is certainly one of them. So I hope you like the video guys. Uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. More videos soon and see you soon.